Today I'm going to go more in depth with the Technomancer than the demo has and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome back to another video. Warning, this video contains spoilers that are not shown in the Outriders demo. So, if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have 5 seconds. You have been warned. So, today we are going to deep dive into all of the information on the Technomancer that we currently know. This video was decided by the Outriders community, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Facebook group. I had posted a poll in many different groups and their group had the most votes out of all of the polls that I had posted from all of the various Facebook groups. So shout out to you guys. Previously, I had made an in-depth video with the Pyromancer and if you guys would like to check out that video, then you may do so by clicking on the annotation at the top right of the screen right now or at the end of the video and I will put a link to all four in-depth videos in the description below. That is once they're all completed. Getting back on track, for the Technomancer, I will be going over what we already know as well as tons of information that is not in the Outriders demo. So let's get started with what we already know first, then get into what the demo doesn't tell us. The Technomancer is a long range support class that summons technology and gadgets to do its anomaly damage. It focuses on anomaly power to do lots of burst damage, being able to kill adds with ease and do massive damage to bosses in a short time. In the demo, we get four assigned Technomancer skills. Those skills are Scrapnel, Cryo Turret, Pain Launcher, and Blighted Rounds. Scrapnel is your grenade. Technically, it's a proximity mine that deals 223 damage and interrupts the skills of all enemies caught within the blast radius. This is a cool little bomb, but there are better toys to play with. Next is the Cryo Turret. You place an automatic turret that deals 6 damage and inflicts freeze onto enemies. However, the turret's health slowly gets lower over time and when it's damaged by the enemy. Even though the damage that the cryo turret does is very small, this skill is mostly used to freeze enemies in place for follow up attacks like our next skill, Pain Launcher. Pain Launcher summons a missile launcher and bombs the area in front of you at the time of its summon and that is actually important. It does not follow you if you move away from the missile launcher, so if you use Pain Launcher, your best bet is to stay directly behind it so you can get the most out of its effect because if you move, the enemies will follow you if you have not frozen them with the cryo turret first, and your launcher will miss its attack. And for the last ability available in the demo is Blighted Rounds, which you fill your current weapons magazine with decay infused bullets that inflict Toxic. Toxic does damage over time or dot. Enemies inside a small radius of the initial target also receive Toxic and 50% of damage. This skill lasts until you reload or switch weapons. All damage levels go up the higher level you are and it depends on the gear you have on as well. Also, your melee attack will do a small AoE freeze to enemies. This is very helpful when enemies are getting too close and you need to put some distance between you and them. The Technomancer is the second squishiest class out of all of the four, but if you keep your distance, even at mid-range, you should be good. When it comes to healing your health, the Technomancer receives a portion of the damage you deal as health. So it's like a built-in leech life. Now, let's get into what the demo doesn't tell us. And as I said before, there is a lot of information. First off, the Technomancer are able to fill in that support role and or just go crazy with damage on their own. Like the Pyromancer, the Technomancer also has three fundamentals. Ordnance, Gadgets, and Decay. What not many people know about the Technomancer's passive ability, which is an ability automatically applied so you don't have to press a button for it, is that it increases weapon damage for long range weapons and your anomaly power. In this case, it is the perfect class out of the four to just sit back with a sniper rifle and no scope some shit. No, don't do that. No scoping is actually hard at long ranges and entirely unreliable, but still possible with a lot of practice. So then, 
you can quip scope or hard scope stuff. <laughs> However, you do not have to use a sniper rifle. Any weapon that is good at long ranges, and I would suggest 50 meters or higher, should be good enough and accurate to get the benefit for the Techomancer's passive, and this includes assault rifles. As for the skills not in the demo, we have Tool of Devastation. In short, activating this skill with a light press can equip you with a rocket launcher that interrupts enemies, it damages, and it comes with four rockets. Activating the same skill by holding down the button gives you a freaking minigun. How is that not awesome? <laughs> the minigun comes with 125 rounds and up to 160. Both the rocket and the minigun can probably get more ammo with mods or if you are specced into the right class tree. The next skill is called Fixing Wave. This ability plays more of a support role. Fixing Waves helps restore health to yourself, your abilities where you summon constructs like the Cryo Turret or Pain Launcher, and it also helps restore health to your allies regardless of distance. The next skill is called Blighted Turret, which is another construct that you can summon. Not only does this turret do damage to your enemies, but it also infects them with Toxic. And the last skill we'll be going over is called Cold Snap. Cold Snap is an AoE that freezes enemies in a large radius. And that's it. That's all it does. Just whoosh, freeze. Can't move. <laughs> there are many ways to play this class either offensively and defensively. If you go on the offense, having one of the turrets like the Cryo Turret or the Blinded Turret is a good tactic. You can throw one of your turrets in a different direction in order to pull aggro from the enemies while you flank them and deal massive damage with, I don't know, the Tool of Destruction or Pain Launcher. Personally, in the demo, I'd like to set up my Technomancer with Cryo Turret, Pain Launcher, and Blighted Rounds. And when I use all of my abilities, I use all of them at once and in this very order. This does massive burst damage all at once, and all of the ability's cooldowns seem to recover one after the other. Unfortunately, when it comes to the Technomancer's class trees, the demo doesn't really tell you what each tree's main focus is, so I'll be going over that right now. For the Technomancer's class tree, on the very far right we have Pestilence, Tech Shaman, and Demolisher. Pestilence is for those Technomancer's that want to maximize damage with your decay skills and gives bonuses to weapons like sniper rifles and assault rifles. The Tech Shaman is more focused on indirect damage that will boost your turrets, freeze effects, and all healings. It also has a passive skill called Overclock where activating a gadget skill increases your anomaly power and weapon damage by 40% for 10 seconds. Additionally, up to 10 seconds after you die, you will receive a second chance to return alive with 50% health. You can use this ability once every 180 seconds. And this will definitely come in handy in expeditions since you get only four attempts to do each expedition. The Demolisher Tree will give us bonuses and buff all of your weapons and abilities and boost your toxic effect damage. So it's pretty much your jack of all trades. An interesting thing about this path is that it has a sub skill called Brain Freeze, where your melee skill also inflicts toxic on every enemy you hit. So you freeze them and inflict toxic. Talk about pouring salt on the wound. <laughs> but I do have a question, and I wonder how this will play out in the full version of the game. If our character has Tool of Destruction and Blighted Rounds, and then I activate them in that very same order, will I get the effect of Blighted Rounds on my rocket or my minigun? When you activate Tool of Destruction, it actually takes over your current weapon slot. So I don't see why that wouldn't work, but I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. Okay, so that is everything that the demo does not tell us. Now that we got all of that out of the way, I have my own ability that I would like to see in a future update, and I'm actually going to be doing this for all of the classes. A buddy of mine named Boogie actually helped me come up with the name. I call it Malevolent Haze. Malevolent Haze reads, throw a grenade. The explosion causes a fog that deals toxic onto enemies in a large radius. 
The shrapnel applies slow to each enemy caught in the blast. Toxic does two times more damage each second the enemy is in the fog and lasts for seven seconds. Tell me that's not a beautiful effect. But let's go ahead and paint a beautiful picture. Let's say Malevolent Haze is a skill in the game. This is the combo that I would do. I would pop Cold Snap first on a group of enemies to freeze them. Then I would go ahead and throw Malevolent Haze and then finish all of the enemies off with Tool of Destruction. Of course, I would be using the minigun. I don't know. I am having a lot of fun making these fan fiction abilities. But it still would be nice to see something like these come out in a future patch. And there are so many different combinations that you can use in this game with your abilities, even in the demo. Let me know what you guys think of Malevolent Hates, which is the ability that I came up with, Boogie Help with the name, inside the comment section below. Also, if you guys have an ability for your class that you made up, let me know down in the comment section below what it actually does. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to join the Everything Outriders Discord. It's a place for the entire Outriders community to make friends, have fun, do some LFG, get tons of info on the game, such as patch notes, data mines, and a look at all of the legendaries in the game as well. It's growing every day, so come and join us. A link to the Discord will be on screen and in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next one.